Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, a little morning game plan here. I'm Laz. A couple minutes before the open, just to kind of go through what I'm seeing today, uh, what I'm thinking. Um, you know, market coming in, we're down about seven, eight handles this morning on a gap down. There's obviously not a lot of good headlines out there, not a lot supporting the market. Price is telling us it can't really support a bounce. You know, we, uh, we saw some heavy selling last week, bounced Monday, you know, into Tuesday, a little bit after lunch, into the late part of the afternoon. We saw a rollover, you know, market got weak again, stock started to sell off in mass. Obviously the clues were there, Apple is a leading stock, so goes Apple, so goes the market. I've said it a zillion times. So I watched that one very closely for clues because I really think that, you know, if Apple can hold this bounce, you know, I think the market could go higher. If Apple starts to roll over and approach lows again, the market's going to roll over and approach lows. Um, as far as today goes, as we've come into gap downs over the last couple of weeks, they've been a little bit tougher to navigate for those that have shorter durations. Um, I'm going to give this market a good hour, two hours this morning. I'll probably stay flat to neutral um, before I make any decisions about higher or lower. I think right now, you know, all signs point to lower, but I want to see price confirm that. And I personally never short a gap down. I only short on, uh, on short-term strength. So I want to see if this gap down can maybe rally up, fill the gap, and then we'll sort of evaluate to see if, you know, what happens. I think the midday update will be a lot more pivotal as for what to do possibly into today, tomorrow, later today, tomorrow, um, and, and the latter part of the week. So, you know, early part of the week we saw a bounce. Now it's sort of an, you know, we're at, a, we're at an inflection point. What's this market want to do? Does it want to make a stand? Does it want to hold, you know, Monday's, you know, rally or bounce um, and possibly, you know, test higher? Or is this just a short-term bounce and everything rolls right back over? To me, in my personal opinion, what I'm looking at right now, some of the leading stocks, you know, couldn't even hold a one, you know, a two-day bounce. That to me is not a very positive sign. And it does forecast potentially lower prices. But I'm going to wait for that confirmation. Again, patience is my friend right now. Good trades develop. They don't just happen, like I always say. If you really want, you know, the, the most detailed color, it's, it's imperative that you, you know, get into the VTF because it is a, right now, a very, very volatile trade. And you do need to be where the action is and do need to get color, you know, sort of on a, on a much more frequent basis. As always, I'll be back for the uh, midday update. Have a great day trading.